Hello and welcome to uh, Whole School Assembly, dated for the 29th of April 2020. This is a very strange time at the moment. We're not in school. Uh, we're in our own individual pods at home. We're relying on remote learning. It's, it's slightly foreign. It's a time when we're being tested against things that they're wholly unused to. A time when perhaps you could say that circumstances are really against us. We're up against it. An unfamiliar set of circumstances. We're just not used to this. We're more on our own. Little setbacks can get magnified. We can come up against blockages. We just can't see our way around because we can't exchange ideas. But it's also a time to persevere, a time to try out something new and something beyond what I guess we would say was normal. And it's a time when we can really achieve. And I'm hoping that the uh, slideshow that I've prepared here in the commentary, the brief commentary, will give you an illustration of that. The illustration I'm going to use is one of my own, which is uh, to do with beekeeping. I'm quite a cane amateur beekeeper, and hopefully this will show you something of what I've achieved during the last couple of days. Masochism personified. These are a couple of beehives. They're very similar to mine, not identical. I did wonder about whether I should get bees to start off with. My wife had severe misgivings and at times over the past couple of years I've had those similar misgivings too, usually after I've been stung in one way or another or I've misjudged the amount of PPE that I should wear. wear. I've also had lots of setbacks, swarms, hive collapse, bees inside my bee suit rather than outside which is, tends to make things very exciting. But overall I'm glad I've done it and what you'll see in the following few slides is why I'm glad that I've done it. A bit of detail about uh, beekeeping and the structure of the hives. Inside those boxes uh, each section has a number of what are called frames. They're wooden frameworks with wax um, secured inside by wires and on those uh, areas of wax, the, the bees build their honeycomb, which are a series of cells, and they fill those with honey. You have to take those frames out with the honeycomb attached so that you can extract the honey. So that's someone else doing it rather better than I would manage. That frame is covered with bees. Those bees would uh, not be there if you were extracting the frame to get honey from the hive. When you've got the frame out and you've removed any bees, then you have to remove the wax cappings which the bees put on top of the cell to secure the honey inside. Obviously, if you don't take the cap off, you can't get the honey out. The way you do it is you use a hot scraper or knife which just makes the, the wax come off and you can see the honey being removed there, uh, the honey being revealed there as the wax come, caps come off. Once you remove the wax caps, you then hang the frames inside an extractor. Here's one. Uh, it's quite a large drum, and this one is a manual spin, but you can get electric ones driven by a motor, and they spin the frames round so that the honey is uh, removed by centrifugal force, hits the sides of the can, and then goes down into the bottom. If you look at there, there's a tap at the bottom as well. So the extractor is uh, where uh, we're looking now. That yellow tap is on the bottom of the extractor. The honey comes out of there and then goes through a sieve because there'll be various bits that you don't want in the final honey when you're going to eat it. So it goes through a sieve and then collects in a big vat underneath. And finally, you get a tap at the bottom of that vat and you can take the honey out. And that's... Uh, uh, an example there, it's not mine. I got about six pounds of honey out when I extracted recently. And it's taken a long time, time to get there. A couple of years of failure, you can see on their swarms, quite a number of battles with the bees, which they usually triumphed, and the occasional crisis of confidence. But it's all worthwhile. I really feel like I've achieved something uh, which I would not have been otherwise been able to do. So I'm going to finish with uh, a prayer 
which we quite often use during our whole school assemblies and it prays for inspiration on our new working week. Thank you very much for listening.